me motherfucking how. <laughs> but no, I don't think you can use Chinese that way. <laughs> Hello everyone! Do you like this hair? Because I'm fucking loving it for real. Like, really feeling it. Really fucking feeling it. We have had snow here, which is wonderful! And I love snow because even now that I'm an adult and like it has like consequent like now I can drive but I'm like I can't drive now because of the snow um it's like oh I have to stay home like oh what a shame <laughs> so I have just been chilling the fuck out I had a bomb New Year's I went to the coast and um just for one night one of my aunt's birthdays is New Year's Eve and she and her wife and her, their son and me and my mom and my sister all went and had dinner. I had delicious, delicious nachos and it was fabulous. And the waiter was cute as fuck, so. I'm also, for the first fucking time ever, wearing nails in a video except, like, ignore this one. Like, always when I glue my nails on, there's at least one or two that is just like completely like what the fuck was I doing, but like <laughs> I'll just glue it on like completely sideways, but isn't this so pretty? Um, it is OPI give me space, y'all, and OPI in true Stefani fashion. Let's chat about 2015 favorites of the year, holla! <laughs> I have 15 favorites all laid in front of my eyes and I'm ready to fucking chat about it. Let's start with skincare. I recently did a video about my Asian beauty skincare routine. You should totes check it out if you haven't already. But I talked about this. This is the Hada Labo. Um, which I learned, or I think I learned, like, it made sense. Hada is skin in Japanese, and labo would be, like, short for laboratory. I don't fucking know, but I took Chinese. This is the Hada Labo toner, toner lotion. It's different than a normal toner. You can watch the skincare video if you want to learn all about that. But the only way I can describe the way, because it is liquid, the only way I can describe the way it feels is plush. It's so weird. It's not a gel, but it's not just a straight liquid. Oh, it's the best. And it doesn't like, it doesn't have a smell. I feel like this definitely makes a difference in the dryness of my skin. And I really like it. The only other skincare favorite I have is the uh, skin food. Royal Black, uh, God, Royal Honey Eye Cream. I always fucking read the description accidentally. This is the, so yeah, this is the Royal Honey Eye Cream by Skin Food. It is a big ass tube, um, <laughs> than most eye creams. That is because most eye creams in Asian beauty are also, can also be used on the face, like in general, but like, I don't think it's that big of a tube. Like, I'm not gonna be like, <laughs> like, <laughs> but, um, but they can but not all face creams can be used on the eyes it's very sensitive <laughs> i don't claim to understand skincare in any way anyway i do like the way this smells it smells like honey for sure and it has lasted me a really long time and um it's it smells like honey but it's pretty faint like it's not like a like holy shit honey every fucking where <laughs> Um, but it's pretty faint, so it's not like overpowering if you're a person who doesn't love scents or whatever. It smells like naturally honey. It's I love this. I don't know, I never know like if anything does like an anti-wrinkle effect because like I'm fucking 22, like I don't like don't have many eye wrinkles yet, but uh, you know, prevention is key, so from me to you. <laughs> All right, now that we have exited these fucking sleeves, man, they keep coming down and I definitely got makeup on them. So that's awesome. All right, let's talk about the only brush favorite I have, but it's a good one. This is the Tarte Airbrush brush. It's like a foundation brush and it's got the word airbrush in it. Um, I purchased it off Amazon, so like, 
technically i don't know if it's like legit or not like so like you would think that amazon only sells like super legit products but in reality like some of their shit is like kind of sketchy <laughs> but this brush is fucking amazing i think it's pretty i mean i feel like it's legit i paid like 13 dollars for it it but it was marked down so but oh my god this is the best and i was using it for liquid foundation which it's totally fine for but my favorite is powder to use it with and it's just like because it's so big it's just like wah 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 and you're like fucking done like out of here i wasn't gonna throw it because i love it too much um but yeah, I just really like this. It washes really well, and it dries in like a fucking light year. Is that quick? It dries quickly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really like it. I like the handle. I think it's like, I like how, um, I like the thickness of the handle, even though, you know, you might think like, oh, it's not going to fit in my fucking cup or whatever, but it does fit in mine, so, you know, to each their own cup or whatever, like, fuck. Let's talk about foundation. I don't have a bottle <laughs> because I got a sample, but I have been using it a lot. And it's so like life-changing that I can say, even though I haven't had it all year, I fucking like want to marry it. It is the, um, let me see. It's the Makeup Forever. I'm pretty sure it's the HD Invisible. They like didn't fucking, they just like make up forever. It's a sample from Sephora. And it, you know, this tiny little sample jar has lasted me a long time and I still have about, I don't know, a little, like, less than half left. And I actually, I purchased this foundation, the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. And um, so then I put this on because I was like, you know, like a different day. I was like, I'll try this. This is so light compared to this. And I was like, holy shit, like it's lighter than me. But then I realized like, is that my actual skin color? Like, oh my God, I'm actually so much lighter than I was or thought I was. And so like i'm actually going to um take this guy back because sephora's return policy is like amazing and i'm gonna um so i'm gonna use the money that i purchased this with uh towards the hd foundation because like it's like 40 dollars right like fuck <laughs> and this was like i think 22 or 20 it was one of those numbers you know one of those twos but yeah so my um my shade is y205 another sephora favorite is the sephora micro smooth powder this one is in light also known as claire if you're french um i just fucking love this it's like a baked powder and it looks in the pan and on the swatch a lot more shimmery than it is. Um, it's not shimmery at all. It reminds me of like the effect that they say, I haven't tried the Balance and Brighten one from Laura Geller, but it reminds me of that concept for sure. And like the effect that they say that that will give seems really similar to this. And I think this was less than 20. It might've been 20. Anyway, it was not more than 20 um, and I think the Laura Geller one's like $38 or something, and I'm like, you know, it's the same thing. I don't feel like it oxidizes on me or anything, but, you know, I never feel that way, and then I'll come home sometimes and be like, God damn. I have Mokushla, <laughs> you know, from Billion Dollar Baby, I say, I say Mokushla a lot, and I never know if people are like, and then I'm like, people probably have no fucking idea what I'm saying. And Makushla means like, um, what does he say? He's like, he's like about to turn her thing out. He's like, Makushla means my darling, my blood. And you're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> like, so it's like, it's so fucking sad. Makushla, my darling, my blood. This is the Cap on D, me be the logo palette. I am sure that you know what this is. Um, it, I hate the fucking packaging. I don't like, no, I've never heard anybody else complain about it, but like, I don't like this fucking like 
record bullshit. Like, I always feel like I'm gonna go to pull it out and, like, fucking jab the shit out of it with my nail or something, but... <sighs> but, um, I love this bitch. I will probably be buried with it. So, yeah. That's really all I need to say about the... You have your neutrals in the middle, and you got every fucking color in the goddamn world on the outside. And, like, I used harpsichord today on my lid, the orange, and I used all the neutrals, so that would be Vox? Is that what the fuck that says? I don't fucking know this one. The darkest brown. Um, Lyric and Noble. Um, the rest of it. It's 24 shadows and it's like, what, 10? Not even 10, it's like $60 and so it's like $6 more than the fucking Urban Decay palette, which is 12 shadows and is not even this fucking quality. Like, <laughs> not trying to hate, but not trying to be shady, but sorry, Urban Decay, you need to take a lesson. So that <laughs> is all of my high end things, and the rest I have are ruined. Let's talk about blush, shall we? This is the Makeup Revolution. This is a brand that is new to my Ulta and everyone's Ulta, but it's like finally in stores. Fucking open. Ah, this is a matte blush. It is beautiful. It is this nice peach. It's called Nude. It's the most peachy, more like orangey tone. Not like orange in a bad way, but like orange peach blush that I have like by far that's why I picked it up because sometimes I'm like I don't go through blushes very fast so like sometimes I'm like I really <laughs> I really don't need more blushes and I say that and I laugh because I just ordered the fucking Too Faced blush palette so you know whatever jokes on me the other blush that I really loved is this I don't even know what the fucking brand is I got it in a boxy charm studio makeup this is just so pretty. It's called Wildflower. It's in the shade Wildflower. I feel like I'm not getting the right light here. It's in the shade Wildflower. It's so pretty. And it blends so nice. And it's so neutral that it's like perfect. Speaking of Makeup Revolution, I maybe should have started with the other one and then done the Makeup Revolution plush and then segued into this highlighter like plan. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. <laughs> wow, that's Southern accent. It kind of looks like a vagina, which I'm like just noticing. Hello. Um, I love this. This is really pretty. I think it is the most, it's definitely the most pink tone they have, I think. But it might not actually be like the most cool toned one. I think there's more like an icicly white one that they also had. But I went for this because I have several icicly white highlighter shit nonsense, whatever. I really like it. It applies really nice. It stays throughout the day. And Makushla for sure. Everything here, Makushla. Makushla, Makushla, Makushla. Alrighty, bitches. Let's talk color pop. I really like the cream color concentrate gel liner things. It might not be concentrate. It's something similar. It's not like cream gel liner. I don't think they use the word liner. I don't know. I like those. I really do, but I like, I have so many fucking, this is not all of, like, um, what do you call it, ColourPop shadows, that I figured, like, I would, like, let them edge out the liners, so. I have a shit ton of these fucking eyeshadows. I've got Leopard, that's new. This is Dance Party, that's new. This is Erotic, that's, like, one of the first ones I ever bought. Beauty Call. This is like a baby blue. Daddy. <laughs> hey, they named it, not me. Uh, Drift, which is really pretty. I use that several times, actually. Taco, which is a darker baby blue. A darker baby blue. Game Face, which is the copper. I did a tutorial with this not too long ago. Not a tutorial. This is bubbly, and it's like a pink glitter, and I fucking love it. Plaid, this is a bitch to blend. I don't know why that one, that one's like my troublemaker of the bunch. 
Here is Snapdragon. It's like a deeper mint. This is Fizz. It's like a fucking neon green. I think they actually might have not make that anymore. Ah! This is Lace. This is a dark, dark purple, but like super fucking glittery, and I actually really like it. I used that on my sister when she went to homecoming this year and she loved that. Liberty is super fucking silver. If you're like looking for a silver, that is a silver. Bay, which is really pretty. It's that kind of like that Urban Decay shadow where it's like green red reflex, kind of like green red blue reflex. Super pretty, super pretty. It would take me fucking hours to open all this shit. Um, this is Animal. I really like this one. I did a tutorial with this as well. It's like a peachy, definitely a peach with like intense gold shimmer in it. This is Flux. This is the mint. I knew I had you somewhere. Come on, show your color. There you go. And then this is Glow Sticks. Uh, super fucking bright yellow. I know I did a look with Fizz and Glow Sticks. I've also done one with Snapdragon and Flux. I did like a ColourPop Spring thing with all of the little pastel -y ones. I think that is all of them. Please, dear God, let that be all of them. How many is it? Let me count. 18! That's crazy! So yeah, I, I love these. They can be kind of a bitch to work with sometimes, right? Like, they can kind of be like finicky or like you have to fucking like deal with them. Like, um learn how to apply them the best way but they are like beautifully fucking pigmented and you know if you want them all over the lid like they're really bomb for that it's like when you get into the more like oh i want it in my crease and i want to blend this color with that color like i want to like blend it out that's it's kind of like where you get to it like get into an issue but if you want it for like you do your crease with your normal shadows and all that and then you put it straight on the lid like holla for that because they're really good for that they're also really good for like the bottom lash line if you do like a super pretty look i've used bubbly on several kids i used bubbly in my cut crease video plaid and um game face were the ones i used in that copper video i was talking about and plaid was just such a bitch to blend i don't know why like more than normal you know flux and um is this leopard? No. Bay. Bay. Oh, yeah, it is bay. Yeah, it's just that, like, blue-red. More blue-red than green-red. It's really pretty. I fucking love it. I can't remember the name. It's like an Urban Decay shadow. It's like an Urban Decay shadow, and it's also um, a famous MAC shadow, and god fuck me if I could remember it. Glow Sticks. I did a video with that, and Fizz, I think I already said that. They're not, like, it's not like a fucking powder shadow, so if... So if you're going into it thinking like, oh, it's going to be a powder shadow, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> I don't even watch South Park, but isn't that a South Park joke? Speaking of eyelids, <laughs> my fucking sleeve. Not speaking of eyelids. Speaking of eyelids, um, I have been loving gel liner. And because of that, I got like three fucking more angled brushes in my stocking for Christmas. I have three of the little ColourPop ones. What do they, do they have the name on them right here? Cream Gel Color. I told you it didn't have liner in it. I've got Prance, which is the baby blue. Best O, which is like a dark red, if you can see. And then um, Cry Baby, which is lavender. I did a Kat Von D video with this and the Mi Vita Loca palette, and that's really new. You should definitely go watch that. But yeah, I've just been really loving gel liner for this year. I find it really easy. I finally figured out that I have one hooded eye, and um, I really find the wing easy to make with gel liner. Sometimes I prefer my physician's formula, um, the liner that's in a pen, um, for doing the lid line, but the wing is really good to do um, with gel liner, and this is just the Mica Beauty Cosmetics one. I've used a couple that are like all the fucking same, but like the Mary Kay one, like where did I even fucking get that? But like, like how is this in my home? Um, government. Um, fucking sucks ass. But like the Maybelline one is like killer. I need to like, when I'm done with this, which like, does anyone ever fucking finish a gel liner? Like, no fucking way. But when I'm done with this, I will definitely be picking up the Maybelline one because I really liked that in high school. And 
people just keep talking about it like better and better so I assume even if they have reformulated it it's still fucking bomb so one of the other things is BoxyJarm. I am obviously not sponsored like fucking wow that would be sweet but um I love BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm, like, as you probably know if you watch my channel, I said goodbye to Lip Monthly. <laughs> like, I was like, Lip Monthly, like, I fucking, I fucking told you, like, I said, get better, and you haven't gotten better, and we gotta, like, I don't play that game. Don't say you're gonna change, and then don't. I don't play that game, Lip Monthly. So, but I have kept with BoxyCharm. You get five full-size products for $21. It's always full-size products. If there is full-size products, if there is a, like, trial or a deluxe sample or whatever, it's always an extra, and I just fucking love it. The only thing I wish is that I wish their point system was back to, um... Back to, like, you pick a product. I don't like the whole, like, oh, $10 off your order, and oh, $20 off your order, because it's, like, I wanted, like, different products than I got in the box. Like, they used to have that. They used to have that, and they don't now. So I have, like, four-something thousand points, and, like, <laughs> I'm, like, just sitting on them. <laughs> just sitting on them. <laughs> sitting on my points. Now! All I have left is the lipstick category. Let's blow through this fucker. LA Girl Matte Pigment Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. These are my two favorite colors. This is Frisky. It is a plain red and this shit is straight up fucking bulletproof. This is like one of my favorite liquid lipsticks for sure. I really love this. If I want a surefire red, I definitely will wear this because I know that it's not going to move. It's not going to fuck with me. And um and I really like the applicator on these too. It's like really small and I really like that. It is You see how like thin it is and like tiny and it helps you really get in the corners there. And yeah, I just there's not like a discernible smell. The other color I really like is this one and it is timeless and it looks a little more vibrant in the tube here than it really is. Um, it's more of like a plum mauve and yeah so this is even though it's a little bit more like less neutral it's still really nice because it's like you can totally wear this with a lot of stuff so yeah I totally recommend frisky and timeless for sure and I kind of pretty much recommend the glosses in general and we have a standalone he does not have a partner I tried a different one of these this is the years are this is the Amore Matte Lip Cream from Milani. I'm sure you fucking have seen this. Apparently they're back like permanent and I know I saw that they're on the website, but my fucking drugstore, they told me they're like, we're not coded for Milani. What the fuck does that mean? What is special about Milani that you're not fucking coded for? Like, I don't understand. I fucking don't. <laughs> like, um... One of the Walmarts in my area has it, but they fucking never have anything new. Like, never fu I have- they do not have these, but who fucking knows? I'll check. Um, because I would like to try more colors, but I tried a dark one, and the consistency was so different from this. This is Lust, and I fucking love this. I have used this several times, and that's kind of a big deal with lipstick for me, because I have so many lipsticks that I want to wear a different one all the time. I have used this many times. Um... The formula is just really nice. It's definitely matte. If you can see the little um, lid is like, if I can get it onto my hand, is like all matte where it's dried around the lid. Um, it's definitely matte. It's really comfortable. But the other one I tried, I can't remember what the color was. It was super dark. And this is like a cream. And yeah, it says lip cream. That one was like a straight liquid, like a color pop liquid. Um, and it just like... It made the, like, <laughs> edges of my lips much darker than the rest of them, so I had, like, hardcore, like, chola, how do you do the fucking LA thing? The hardcore chola mouth, like, and I was like, I did a whole video on those, on both, like, a first impression of both of these, and I tried this one first and was like, I fucking love it, and tried the next one and was like, ah, I don't like it at all. <laughs> That was such a cute noise. I'm like on point with the noises today. My last favorite of the year is 
Colourpop liquid. Jesus fuck. Colourpop liquid lipsticks. You fucking tried to run away, Mars. Get your ass back here. <laughs> I have a shit ton of these, and I want more. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what a little pair. Um, a little trio. I love these. I really like these. Some people don't. Like, some people think, like, it's not worth the hype. I think it is, like... It's not like, it's not as comfortable as this, this Milani one, or as like, um, these are like the best of both worlds of the Milani and the ColourPop. Like they're super comfortable and they're hardcore like liquid lipsticks, except these feel creamy too when you put them on. So they're like the feeling of the Milani with the like hardcore staying power of the ColourPop, like fucking best thing ever. Um, ColourPop is definitely less comfortable to wear, and if you want to reapply it, you have to, like, really kind of, like, stick your lip out and, like, just get it in where it's gone. You, like, you don't want to, like, reapply it over itself. But honestly, like, I do not have, like, there's only one, where is it? Only one time I wore more better, and it totally bled on me, and it was really weird. And I've worn it since and not had that problem, so I don't know what the fuck happened that day, but I was like, really, like, really, when I go to Seattle, please, like, don't fuck with me. <laughs> so I have more better, which is like, I don't even fucking know, a dark, red, a dark pinky red fuchsia, whatever the fuck. And then I have Scrooge. Where's Scrooge? Scrooge looks so much like more better that it's like not even funny, and I was like, ah, son of a bitch. And that is kind of a color pop thing. Um, and then I have Mars, which is a little bit more vibrant on the lips, I think, than it is in the tube. But this is really pretty, and I don't really have a color like this in any other lipstick, so I really like this one. Um, then I have... This is Vice, and this is, like, my lipstick where I feel like other people are like, that looks like shit on you. But I'm like, I love it, though, because <laughs> it's, like, basically my skin color. Um, I wore this in my avant-garde yellow-red, um, oh, I did that tutorial, that with ColourPop, too. I used Erotic from ColourPop, the shadow. Um, I wore it in that, so if you, and in a smoky purple look I did, where I have pigtails in. Um. It's very, very flesh tone. Like, it's one of those nudes where it's like, I have no lips, and I fucking love it. <laughs> like, I don't know why, I just really, really like it. Um, then I have Drive-In, which is a really pretty purple. I don't wear this as much as I should. Um, then this would make a really pretty ombre. This is Koala. Yeah, right. Koala is a lavender. I wore this in the Kat Von D video that I just did, the purple. Um, and then... Buds, which is like a pink. This is so fucking neon. Like, I wore this the other day and was like, God damn, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, and the guy who pumped my gas was like, which by the way, like, if you didn't know, in Oregon, we don't pump our own gas. Like, <laughs> bitches. Um, he was like, I really like your lipstick. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> like, I. I don't know what to say when, uh, it's just like, it was like so crazy that a guy complimented it. And then the last two, like I totally like didn't even intentionally try to do this, but I totally like saved them like color family wise. This is Tool. I really like it. And then Kapow. This one's kind of new to me. This is, I ordered this with, was it Scrooge or More Better? I think it was Scrooge. Um, because Scrooge is part of the Christmas collection, and is this part of the Christmas collection? I don't think so. This is like a grayish. I don't have anything else like this, and I really like it. I really like it. Anyway, that is all of my favorites. Do you like my Beetlejuice arms? I know I wasn't really consistent with the um, favorites videos this year, like monthly, but I fucking did this one for you, so... Um, <laughs> I am going into the new year, I've got new editing software, and, um, a new attitude. Um, I'm graduating this year, and I hope that I can just continue to grow my channel. I am looking forward to continuing to make videos for you guys, and I watched, um, Thrift Fix 
2015 favorites while I was doing my makeup today. Um, and she said at the end of it that she's an artist, I'm not an artist, but um, that there's something really nice about um, people enjoying something that you created out of thin air. And I think that's really true and I really like that concept. I think that's a really good way to put it. And I really like doing YouTube. Sometimes I don't have as much time for it as I would want to, but um, it's not my job right now. <laughs> I would love for it to be, but um, that's not where I am right now. But so I make time for it when I can, and I really like making time for it. I feel like my makeup skills have really grown over the last year, like playing with makeup and not being afraid to play with the makeup and like I think there are have been videos that I filmed and then like gone to edit them and like that makeup looks like shit <laughs> like <laughs> I'm not gonna put that one up um so you know you just have to kind of like not be afraid to fuck it up and that is like the definitely the thing that I learned the most for YouTube this year is like don't be afraid to fuck it up just fuck it up. <laughs> like, just do it. You're fine. No one gives a shit. This is the internet. <laughs> and I am looking forward to a new year. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I fear the future, so it's a little more like. <sighs> Comment down below and um, let me know what your favorite moment from 2016 it's 2015 fucking a Laura <laughs> like goddamn because you know I um I like hearing about makeup and stuff but I really like hearing you know other stuff about you know you guys' lives I want to get to know you better and interact with you guys because I need friends so just humor me okay I thought I heard someone come in the front door and now they're probably in the hallway thinking about killing me so this could be the last video I ever make. Bye guys! <laughs> Blair Witch Project style. Um, I So yeah, comment down below, tell me what your favorite moment is from 2016. Um, like the video if you liked it, if you like me, if you like my hair, which I really do. <laughs> if you like Jojo, he's sleeping somewhere in this general area. Um, and yeah oh and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see my other new videos and so you can become a member of my family i don't have a name like the swamp family or anybody else so welcome to the no name family subscribe so that you can know when i put out my videos i put out videos every whenever i feel like it and can I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye.